Hey, welcome to Zach's Tag Turf. Last week I reviewed what I think is the best $200 2-in-1 laptop, but today we're gonna see how it games. How far can we take a 1.4 gigahertz Atom processor? Let's get into it. Before jumping straight into the benchmarks, I promise we'll get into them soon, I highly recommend you guys check out my full review of this Lenovo Mix 320 2-in-1 tablet. I think that this is truly an amazing piece of hardware and I don't want you to judge it purely based off its gaming, which as you can imagine, isn't that great. Let's go over the stats real quick. The Lenovo Mix 320 is running an Intel Atom 1.44 gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, no dedicated graphics, 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, and a 1280 by 800 resolution screen. Now as you can tell, this thing definitely isn't packing a punch when gaming, and like I said in my full review, this thing isn't designed for gaming, it's more like a mobile productivity web browsing type thing. With all that out of the way, let's start playing some games. The first game we're testing here is Grand Theft Auto 5 with max settings. Here you can see that it's running silky smooth at 60 FPS and it looks amazing. Check this out. Okay, okay, hopefully you caught on to this, but no, this laptop is not running this game. I'm using Steam's in-home streaming right now, like if you had a Steam link, but I did this with a reason, so don't be mad at me. With the built-in wireless AC chip on this laptop and a decent home Wi-Fi network, you can play your entire main game's PC library with ease. This is a much better playing experience than actually gaming on this thing, and although I am gonna show you the real benchmarks, obviously, I wanted to include the performance of Steam's in-home streaming because this is honestly what I use this laptop for on almost a daily basis. Okay now with that out of the way, let's run some actual games that this laptop can handle and we'll start with one of my personal favorites, Stardew Valley. At 1280 by 800 resolution, this game played almost perfectly smooth. It stayed right at about 60 FPS but there were some occasional drops down to like 55 whenever you use an item like a fishing pole or your watering can, but certainly very playable and enjoyable. I actually I actually play this game on the couch with this laptop and Steam controller a lot and it's about as relaxing as it gets. The next game I decided to test was just a tad bit tougher to run and that's Crashlands. Crashlands is a very fun survival artsy style role playing game and you can transfer your saves from Steam to mobile and I also recommend it. Here in 1280 by 800 the game stayed at that max 30 FPS the entire time which was actually very nice. Navigating around the menus did cause it to lag a little bit but definitely usable and a great gaming experience. Moving on to a bit tougher title, I gave Torchlight 2 a try. I mentioned in my full review video that I actually played this game on this laptop on a plane ride home once and it actually worked pretty well. In 1280 by 800 and everything to the lowest setting, I was averaging about 25 to 30 FPS with some dips down to 15 to 20 when there were a lot of enemies on the screen, but still, very playable. Torchlight 2 is an isometric action RPG and it's pretty baller to see a game like this run on this tiny $200 two-in-one. Moving up towards the more difficult games, what kind of benchmark video would this be without CSGO? In 800p and everything to the lowest setting, I unfortunately could only average about 10 to 15 FPS. I did manage to run around offline mode and kill some easy bots that made me feel good about myself, but I wouldn't recommend taking this into an online match. Well that wraps up my benchmarking video for the Lenovo Mix 320. As you can see, the lighter end titles are definitely playable on this thing, but I think the important thing to note is that the Steam's in-home streaming performs like an absolute boss. I love taking this tiny tablet around my house and basically having my entire Steam library everywhere I go. Pretty cool stuff. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.